Cause I fell into a great ring of fire. Okay, so uh, maybe you have a friend. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? I don't... I, I, maybe you do, but I don't... Whatever. But you have a friend or a person or something is pulling you up a snowy 24-degree slope with a force of 400 newtons. Okay? I don't know how you've tricked this person to do it, but you have. Congratulations. So... Here is our little snowy slope right here. Bloop. And uh, we're told that it's 24 degrees. And what we do know is that uh, they're pulling you up. So here you are. Classic you. Classic you. You have some weight. And they're pulling you up the hill with a force of 400 newtons. And we know that there's some friction between the sled and the snow. So there's some friction opposing your motion. Remember, friction doesn't always act up the hill. Friction acts opposite the direction you're going. And we know this friction is fun. And we know mu here is 0.14. So what we would like to know in this problem is, what is the acceleration of your sled? So very similar to the example problem we did. Um, but this time we're going up the mountain, okay? So let's take a look at how to solve this. Um, our free body diagram is almost complete. Only thing we're missing on it is the normal force uh, pointing at 90 degrees out from the surface. And this means that since we're on an inclined plane here, a hill, a slope, we're gonna have to tilt our axis so we look at things in a new way. And that means we need to break up this weight vector. Uh, we know if the weight is pulling down here, we know that the amount going down the plane is the mg sine of theta, because sine of theta acts down the plane. And we know this right here going into the plane uh, is mg cosine of theta. And it's important to remember that the mg cosine of theta is actually going to be equal to the normal force. Okay, you're not like sinking into the snowbank. You're not floating up off of the hill into the sky. That, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so it's going to be equal to that normal force there. And when we start setting up our F equals MA equations, it's nice to think about what are our positive and negative directions. I like to choose the direction of motion as the positive direction. And since we're moving up the hill, I'm going to call up the hill to be positive, down the hill to be negative. The normal and the perpendicular component of weight going into the plane don't really matter. They will be equal, so we can kind of ignore them. It doesn't really matter what you pick. So once we get to this point, uh, it's just a matter of setting up the good old-fashioned F equals MA. The sum of the forces equals mass times an acceleration. And if we do that here, um, we've got two forces uh, going up, down, well, three forces actually going up the plane or down the plane. We've got the 400 pulling you up. We've got friction pulling you back. And you also have your component of the weight pulling you back down the hill. If your friend just let go, you know, your weight would cause you to slide back down and friction would all of a sudden flip directions. So let's set up this equation here. Um, uh, for our sum of the forces, the three of them, the 400 is positive because it's going up the plane. Then there's minus the friction, so minus friction, which is mu n. We know mu is 0.14 here. And we know the normal force. That normal force is the mg cosine theta. So mg, that's 65 kilograms, your mass, times gravity, 9.8, times cosine of theta, so cosine of 24. Oh, that's a big one. And then, so that's our entire frictional force. This whole thing is friction. And then we need to subtract the weight component pulling us back down. So this is the minus uh, the weight parallel going down the hill. It's down the hill, so it's negative. And that's mg sine of theta. So that's 65 times 9.8 gravity times the sine of 24 degrees. And all of this combined will equal ma. It will equal our mass, which is 65 kilograms in the problem, multiplied by what we're actually looking for, acceleration. And it, just as we saw in the example we did um, with the child going down the slide, we have all of the numbers here. We have all of 
the numbers, the only thing we're looking for is the acceleration. So even though there's a lot of numbers here, there's a lot in this equation, it's pretty much done. It's pretty much just saying like 10 equals 5x. Like you can solve that. Just do the same thing here. We just have to take care of all of this stuff on the outside and combine it. And we want to make sure we do that carefully so we don't make any errors along the way. So at this point, we're just churning numbers. Um, let's do the weight parallel down the plane, the 65 times 9.8 times sine of 24. When I do 65 times 9.8 times the sine of 24, I get 259.09 newtons. There's a minus there, bring that down. And then let's look at the friction. So that is 0.14 times 65 times 9.8 times the cosine of 24. I get 81.47 newtons. Bring that negative down, bring that subtraction. And that's just a 400 there, newtons. And it will equal 65 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration. So I've just got a bunch of numbers here that I need to subtract together and see what they get. So 400 minus 81.47 is 318.53 minus 259.09 is 59.44 newtons. So that's everything combined together equals 65 times A. And at this point, we're pretty much done here. We divide each side by 65. We get a final answer of an acceleration of 0. 9, 1 meters per second squared. And that's it. That's the whole problem. Um, we drew ourselves a little picture. We drew our free body diagram. We worked out the weight components separately. And then from there, we just said, look, F equals MA. What forces do we have acting up or down the plane itself? The 400 was acting up, which we called positive. The friction and the weight component, mg sine theta, were acting down the plane. We called those negatives. And then that equals ma. And just shove all the numbers together, and boom, that's it. Math is finished. Um, this was a great problem. Uh, personally, I love these inclined plane problems. They're something that, um, since the first time I ever saw one, the idea of mg sine of theta acting down the plane, it has just stuck with me all these years. Um, and I hope this second example really helped you out too. So with that, adios and take it easy.